Hello, grade eight. Today, we're going to be covering the second lesson of the country North Africa. Today, the history of North Africa. The first thing we're going to be talking about today is describing the rise of ancient Egypt. As we said before that the river or the Nile River has given Egypt a chance in order to develop a civilization around the river. 8,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians started to settle on the banks of the Nile. They quickly developed into societies that banded together into two big kingdoms, the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom. About 5,000 years ago, the two kingdoms were united as one. For the next 3,000 years, Egypt was ruled by a long line of kings called pharaohs. The Egyptian society was mostly farmers who paid the government a share of their crops and in the flood seasons, they were asked to help building the monuments and temples. Sometimes the pharaoh would call upon the citizens in order to join the army. So basically, the Egyptian society was mostly consisting of the farmers, which can be pay playing an important role in building monuments and also in joining the army. They also worked at trading, so they traded grains for luxury goods such as gold and ivory. They seized areas along the Red Sea that had mer. And as you know, the definition of mer is a substance that has a very good scent. A substance that has a very good scent from certain plants that gives off a pleasing scent. Let's describe the expansion of the ancient Egyptian kingdom. In 1500 BC, the Egyptians decided to expand their lands, so they took control of the lands in the following regions, south of Egypt and east of Egypt. First, let's talk about the south of Egypt. The Egyptians conquered the areas in Sudan, Ethiopia to seize gold and essences for trade, jewelry and perfumes. About east of Egypt, the Egyptians conquered the eastern shores of the Mediterranean Sea to seize control of the timber trade. Okay, let's talk about the very important key features of the ancient Egyptians, Egyptian beliefs and culture. We all know a very good idea about the beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. The first belief is the polytheism, which is the belief in more than one god. The Egyptians believed in many gods, and the sun god Ra was the most important one of them all. Also, the monotheism, which is believing in one god. So some of the Egyptians were believing in different gods, but at the end, when they were united, they believed in only one god. The afterlife. All Egyptians believed in the afterlife, the life after death, and the judgment which was very clear on the drawings they have on the temple's walls. The mummifications and the tombs. Because of their belief in the afterlife, the Egyptian, the Egyptian preserved the bodies of their dead by mummification and locked them in tombs with plenty of food, jewelry, and tools to help them in the afterlife. The, pharaoh, the pharaohs had a fancy and big tombs like the pyramids, and then later they craved a big tombs inside the mountains. Mostly pyramids were for the kings and queens. The hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, most of Egyptian history was recorded by their unique writing system, which known as hieroglyphics. This system uses pictures to represent words or sounds. What was the scientific influence of ancient Egypt? The first one, their influence was very clear in the field of mathematics. 
the Egyptians used mathematics to measure farm fields and assign taxes on them. Also, in astronomy, the Egyptians used to astronomy to calculate times and seasons. We cannot forget their influence in engineering. It was very clear in engineering. Engineering, Egyptians used their engineering skills to build some of the most amazing buildings in history, such as the pyramids of Giza and many temples. This was the end of History of North Africa, part 1. See you soon in part 2, inshallah.